Moscow Central for seven. Is it me? I'm heading up to Blackpool in about half an hour. Well, I'm heading to the train station in half an hour. I'm heading up to Blackpool to go and support one of my friends. Mum, one of my friends is currently in hospital. She's got caught tomorrow, so I'm going up today to see her. At, like, I'm gonna be in hospital and talk to her, and I then we get to court with her tomorrow. The reason I'm vlogging is because I want to show the importance that visiting people and showing support people can have on people. Like I want to show that, you know, supporting others is beneficial to both your own mental health and to the person who you're going to see as mental health. Like whether you're going to visit them in hospital or whether you're just sending them a text. The importance of having someone in your life that supports you is so important and that is the aim of this video. So that mind, let's go finish getting ready and then head to the train station. Woo. Ew. The image looks terrible. Oh my god. I might have to film this later. Yeah, I'm just here to visit my friends. Hey guys, so I'm in my accommodation for the night and I'm going to end this video very soon. I wanted to quickly make this little clip to talk about the importance of having people who support you around you. And um, Today I went to visit one of my friends who's been in hospital for about five months now and it was emotional. It was emotional, but it reminded me of the importance to be there for people and how much these people have helped me. Like having people that are supportive and that care around me is one of the most important and things I can tell you to do. So my baby camera died. Looks like we're using the big camera. I've got to put a microphone on. Honestly, I don't think I can even sit here and tell you how important it is to have people around you that you care about and having people around you that are supportive. I've had so many people in my life this year that have let me down and that have been horrible to me and pushed me and made me feel like crap. And I've also visited this friend in hospital, to, this is the second time I've been to visit her this year. She's been in the same admission for five months. I met her in my first admission this year. Um, I'm here to support her, I always will be. The thing is I'm a very supportive and caring person. I care a lot about people. The reason I'm making this video is to just talk about the importance of being there for people. I have no idea how much it's going to improve the day and honestly I don't think I can sit here and explain to you how much having one person come and visit me made all the difference. During my last admission, one of my friends came to visit me and it made things so much better. It just helps enormously knowing that people around you care. Because when you're in that position, not all the time, but I know for this friend, um, for me, we went in because we tried to end our lives, because we felt worthless, we thought no one cared. And I think it's so important to show people that you care because you have, you have no idea how much you could help that day. That's the important message of this. I was going to make a whole big video but I need to be more real with you guys with this one. I can't make a big fancy video for this. It really does make a difference having people there for people. I know for me having the people I've got around me now is so helpful. Like Serenity for instance and you guys. It makes my day so much more bearable than it was a few months ago. I felt so alone and I felt like I had no one because my mum wasn't involved in my life. I had no one to turn to because I didn't want to upset my friends. I didn't want to upset those people around me. Having now changed my mindset a bit and knowing the importance of it is so, so important. And if there is someone in your life that you feel needs just a hug or a hello or just a message, send it. You have no idea how much it will help them. Even just saying hi to someone can help enormously and here's something you realise. I was talking to some of the staff members today on the way out and I was like, oh I don't know how I'm supposed to feel. I was like, I feel horrible because I'm out of hospital and this person went into hospital and was in the same admission, in the first admission this year and I don't know, it made me feel 
all sorts. I feel really emotional. Maybe it's because I'm just a caring person. Maybe it's because I want the best for her. But, well no, it's, I, do, I do want the best for her. I think it's just because I'm overly caring. And the thing is, I met her in hospital. I haven't known her that long, but I do care a lot about people. And that's the reason I do these videos. I make videos to help people, I make them to make people feel less alone. Like I said, just send a message, say hi, send a tweet, make people know you're around, and then just send someone something saying hi, because then you know you sent that person a message and you, they know that you're there. I think that's so important. And I know this is like coming from me, I'm the worst person to answer messages, but it can really help. It can make a difference. I'm not saying it's going to change everything, but it can really help. You'd be amazed. Like, getting a message saying hi would have helped me so much earlier this year. Didn't have it around me, and now the fact that I get to do that for other people, it does make me happy. And I am going to stop talking, because I don't really have much more to say, and I feel like I'm rambling. I also can't talk very loud, because I'm in someone else's house, and I feel awkward filming a video. So yeah, I may film another video later on. We'll see. I don't know. Probably do tomorrow morning when I do my makeup. What's left of my makeup? I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna edit this video. Thank you for watching. If you're new here and want to know a bit about this experience and how I met this person and all of that, it's in my book. My book, it's got my life story in so far. Some of it, not all of it. There'll be a new edition out. This is like the last couple of weeks where you can get the first edition of the book. And obviously it's like my first book, so it's like my child. So like, it would mean a lot if you could buy it, but I am mind if you can't. It's also available on Kindle. The link is in the description down below. Also, to anyone who's dyslexic like me and can't read very well, I would highly recommend these, like the coloured rulers. They really help because like you can line it over certain bits of text and it, it, it makes it easier to read. Just like that in. Um, if you're new here, hit the subscribe button and I'll see you guys very soon with a new video. Thank you again to Airbnb for sponsoring this video. A room with Airbnb. Anyway, I need to go. I'm weird, I'm tired and I'm hungry. Not a combination. Bye guys.